In this video, I'm going to explain why we love living in France, but there have been some difficulties. Um, and I'm going to answer some questions. Keep watching. So if you're new to this channel, we moved over to France in September. Uh, we're going to be appearing on the TV show Place in the Sun. Uh, I'll put a link up to the video at the end uh, from the behind the scenes footage. Uh, it's not been shown on the telly yet. We are a family of four. Uh, there's myself, Lisa and our two children, Robbie who's nine and Evangeline who's three in April. But before any of that, this is us living now. On a Wednesday with the kids off school. I'll show you. Robbie, did you enjoy your wrestling yesterday? No. <laughs> no. You didn't do wrestling, Evangeline. No. Do you like living in France? Yes. What's the worst part about living in France? Man. Him. The Him. dog? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there were a few sentences uh, a few years ago I thought I would never hear myself say. One was, oh my God, the dog's sucking the chickens. You heard that. You heard it right. Another one was, I need fuel from a garden tractor. Um, it's going to take me two days to mow the lawn. <laughs> Never thought I'd ever say that. And, and another one was, um, I'm going to feed the horse next door a carrot. <laughs> Mental. That's unique. That's it. He ate the whole thing. And another one. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> yeah, something else I thought I would never be saying was, uh, I've got too many eggs. <laughs> I need to do another tip run. Um, got to keep on top of it. I'll take it. Off to the Duchetterie, which is a uh, French for tip, went to the one in Champagne Mouton. Be able to do a trip advisor on about three of them now, but it's a different ones. Wearing a jacket that Lisa hates, so uh, <laughs> she's not coming. Um, anyway, yeah, it's sunny. You know what that means, don't you? You know it does. Q slow mo. <laughs> Let's go. The talking, the rumors didn't mean anything because you swore you had me, I had you like a stream in the spring. why I said it was run by the Gestapo uh, it's the Champagne Mouton one um, it's not very friendly anyway uh, <laughs> she came over and uh, the big uh, 
metal trunk that I've got. She came over, she went, good? I went, quoi? She went, good? I went, je ne parle que petit peu français? And then in French she said, um, I said the word in English, good. <laughs> I went, all right, that was a French word. Anyway, do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna have a bit of a moan. I bought a, I bought a heap of a car back in the UK so I could do a load of tip runs. Um, so I could mess the car up. Buy a new car over in France and I'm now doing tip runs, getting rid of other people's rubbish. Winds me up. Right, run to her. Happy face again. You really got me stuck, then you walked away. While I was in the shop, you would drift astray. For all the things you told me that weren't true. I've got one or two things to tell you. You never had your mind in the place I was. You never stood behind when I fell because you let me be the one, then you leave me through. I've got one or two things. Can't get the fire going. Anyway, I'm going to try and answer some questions. Yeah, I've got to put my glass on for this one. Right, question from Dave Eastman, uh, 124, 8124. 8124. Um, how do you find the remoteness of where you live? You don't ever seem to mind the driving, but are there any other downsides, any other downsides to you? Um, no, yeah, the reason why we chose yeah, the Charente and the, yeah, the countryside was exactly because of the remoteness. Um, Elisa and I both lived uh, really busy lives in a really built up area uh, in, a, in a densely populated uh, town called Hastings. And uh, yeah, we just wanted countryside, quiet, um, yeah, to be left alone really. Um, so yeah, um, are there any downsides to being here? Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably about 20 minutes to the nearest decent shop. Um, you know, that's the only downside really, but um, yeah, apart from that, it's, uh, yeah, loving it. I've got a question here from uh, from somebody called Cindy M, goes by the name of Dindy. Um, uh, she asked the question, is it difficult being my favourite son and living over in France? It's, it's not, it's not. You know it's not mum. You know it's not. Oh, I've got a question here from William Tate. Uh, what's your best or worst cross-cultural misunderstanding? Have you bought something at the supermarket that wasn't what you expected? There's got to be a story or two that you'll tell your friends about living in France. <clears throat> um, it's got to be a few, hasn't it? Um, I, th I think the one that comes to mind is when we were... Um, we just finished filming a place in the sun and we got a taxi back to... Um, to Limoges Airport, and the taxi driver couldn't speak any English, and, uh, and I certainly couldn't. So, and I spoke less French than, than what I do now. Uh, but we were conversing, saying how many, uh, saying how, how many children that we had that were buying a house and stuff like. That. Managed to get by, and then in the end, uh, I turned around and said, uh, "Je t'aime," <laughs> which means I love you <laughs> to the taxi driver. I, I didn't love him. Uh, he was a nice fella. Uh, I think I was trying to say that I like it here. <laughs> well, I just said, je t'aime. <laughs> I think the other one is um, the dirty looks you get. <laughs> if you go into a um, if you go into a shop five minutes before it's going to shut for lunch. Yeah, they don't like that at all. Have I bought anything from the supermarket that wasn't what was expected? Um, yeah, we nearly bought we nearly bought a cock um, <laughs> for a turkey for Christmas dinner instead of a turkey, and then we uh, yeah we got the Google Translate out and realised that we were buying a a cockerel, and we didn't want to buy we didn't want to buy and eat Arnie. That's not nice, is it? Another question, which is from um, Alaska lad, Alaska lad, yeah. Um, Put my glasses back on. Don't know why I'm pretending I can read uh, without them. Why did you call uh, your channel Escape to France? Was it a take on Dan's channel, channel Escape to Royal France? Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I've got to be honest with you. Yeah, the, yeah, the channel used to be called Journey to the Charente, uh, but we weren't getting any pick up on it at all uh, because people have got to be searching for the Charente, and I don't think many people do. Uh, 
me and Lisa were massive fans of uh, of Dan's channel and I thought I might be able to pick up um, some accidental um, yeah, viewers who were searching for his channel um, and got mine and said yeah 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 27% we get from uh, <laughs> yeah from that <laughs> Yeah, that's it with the questions. Uh, yeah, thank you. And John Luke's okay, by the way. I um, actually didn't notice that he was up on the windowsill uh, until I was doing the editing. <laughs> and, uh, and knowing that he was safe in the house and the window was shut, it actually did make me laugh. I thought aloud. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got to do another tip run this afternoon. I want to try and get some of that, uh, that plasterboard out of the garage. Um, yeah, the fire's coming along. It's going to take ages to get rid of all that garden stuff. Um, right, I'm not taking you to the tip. You've already been once. That's enough of a treat. I've got a quick job. Um, taking out the old screws that uh, are not appropriate for that, for that door. I'm putting them in with more substantial screws. I'll show you. So the job done. Got a joke for you. Why are there no tablets in the jungle? Because the parents at the mall. You're welcome. So the best part about being in France is being with my family. Got one last thing left to say, and it's not for me. 